So I'll show you the greenhouse we have. It's pretty much just a replicate of what everybody else is doing uh, on YouTube with just more of a makeshift greenhouse. So these are the Tractor Supply cattle panels. So I have four of them. You build out your frame, you pinch them in there and they kind of bow over, you just put the tarp over it. So it's a two by 10 foundation, eight foot connected to another eight footer through some other boards. So it's eight foot wide, 16 long. Um, you pull the tarp over. You gotta make sure you have the little foam pieces because at the edges of those cattle panels, uh, the bars aren't flush, they actually poke out, so they'll actually poke through your tarp, so you need to have that. Um, and you pull it as snug as you can. We just kind of pinched it in with a furring strip and just pulled it over on the other side and just made use of it. So, framed out the door, nothing different on, on the other side. So I'll show you one variation that we did on our end, uh, just to make it more useful. So the door uh, is an interchangeable door right now, it's the winter or the cold season, so we just have the one with the uh, with the greenhouse tarp on it. Uh, but this does switch out to one that has screen, so you have airflow when it gets hotter. Okay, so here it is. So they are raised beds boarded up by wood, two by sixes. So they go pretty far long. The one thing that I was unsure about the greenhouse when I was building it was how secure the bow was going to be. Um, so that's why I built a frame in the middle, um, which also allows me to have it as a table of other boards so when it does become transplant or seedling season uh, I have double the bed so it makes it uh, much easier to to have plenty more seeds so I did try something in the middle I try I, I did dig it out and had a, a decomposing leaf uh, bed in there to generate some heat but it didn't work as as effectively so the board or the panels go in there and then I also pinched them in by a two by three with also the framing here uh, this thing does not move at all. Yeah, the tarp kind of moves, but I cannot move the, the, the metal panels at all. So this is as sturdy as, as one can be without an actual frame. So very pleased by that. It's gone through easily 60, 70 mile per hour winds and had no sort of effect on it. Uh, so pretty much you have your beds there. We, we do have the, the metal uh, hoops that we can put row covers in so we can grow in the winter. So that makes it all nice and useful. The one variation that, that I wanted, uh, simply because if you had a greenhouse that was bowing like this, you have no room uh, or at least space to, to work in. So I put a board on the back. So I bent everything uh, with the cattle panels and then I just put a board up to it and, and drew a line with a, with a pencil and just, just cut it out with the jigsaw. So that is a full on wall framed up with the wood as well. Uh, and of course, then you see now some bench space to do what you need uh, when you're prepping uh, the, the seedlings and the transplants with the trays and everything. So it makes it much more useful to have that part uh, there. I don't really see that in many other ones. It just seems to be mostly a bed, uh, but I wanted more function into the space. So that's why we went after that. And I have the legs up in the air. So I don't have, I have plenty of space uh, if I want to put any other, other storage there. So it makes it nice and useful. Uh, we do also have a window. Most people use that other pop-out window that uh, does open up with the heat. Uh, since it just gets hot in here, we just have one that's more permanent that's just always there. So it just hooks up onto there, plus with the door with the screen on it. That's how we have it aired up. Since I do have the, the tarp pinched in, I don't have the ability to kind of flip that back up. So I'll show you the back and what that looks like with the, with the wood. Um, it was pretty pretty straightforward once you got out the outline of it. So that's the back of it. It's just uh, the certain type of wood from Home Depot just got it. And just use furring strips just to pinch in uh, the plastic from it and then we just sealed it. So nothing uh, too difficult about it. It's just two pieces of wood that uh, interlock here and I was just playing Legos to fit everything else in the other spaces um, and that gives it even more rigidity so that's all tied in uh, to the cattle panel frame so at least you have one uh, formal wall uh, that will lock everything in plus gives you that other function uh, of having space to work with so like I said this was just uh, going off of what everybody else is doing uh, on YouTube and uh, this is my version of it so it works very well you can grow in the winter uh, you can prep early you can season 
with a long gate. Um, it makes it nice and simple. So this is the first greenhouse that we have and we're gonna try building another greenhouse uh, over on the other side of the yard.